Now he's a bit more manoeuvrable than the email. There's a few people getting ready now. I don't know if it's because of the rain, because we're bringing out back over your heads again. That was quite polite that time, wasn't it? Um, now, do you girls, do you watch Raw on CBBC? Have you heard of Raw? Do you watch Raw? Um, it's on at the moment, every single morning at quarter to eight. And uh, if you keep watching it, it's running at the moment. Um, and keep watching because Whippet um, was actually on Raw, and uh, they managed to film his first ever flight. Um, and he was a tiny, tiny little baby, so he's going to be a television star soon as well. <laughs> that was close. We're going to go for the middle areas now, Simon, shall we? Notice how Simon actually does more work than the owl. <laughs> faster, Simon, faster! <laughs> <laughs> Great, isn't it? Now, we're going to try and show you with all of our vets um, so, kind of roughly what they do in the wild, or just going to give you an idea how they're hunting in the wild. Um, and the lookouts can potentially catch them on the wind. <laughs> Okay. Um, and so um, we and Simon came up with an idea earlier on this summer which should hopefully wow audiences because we have a gigantic plastic grasshopper. He's about that big and he's called Gary. I don't know why he's called Gary, but he is. We have a catapult and we're going to fire Gary, the plastic grasshopper, about 12 feet into the sky and Boobacal is going to rise vertically and catch the plastic grasshopper on the wing, demonstrating how we take prey in the air. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't work. We're a bit scared of Gary. Because he didn't like him very much. <laughs> so we've got to make friends first, but it's, uh, we're hopefully going to bring him out next year and get him working with flying. Oh, really? What an amazing little bird. Okay, here we go. Should we go for one more final flight worth it? I think there's rain on its way. <laughs> Something tells me. So Simon, he's on his way! Oh, we've got a swing over there. I don't know really what we set out to achieve. <laughs> Everybody leaves over the phobia of beds. Um, so now that, brand new bed to the space. Thank you very much, Simon. He was great. Thank you very much, Whippet, of course, as well. Good stuff. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to build up for a bit of a ground canal. We're going to try something a little bit different. Um, I mentioned the vultures. They're incredibly high-flying birds of prey. Um, and in the wild, if you go to Africa, throughout Europe, um, India or the States, you can see vultures. But normally, when you see vultures take to the skies, very rarely do you just see one. You, the skies will literally fill with these amazing birds. Um, so we're going to kickstart a uh, bit of a ground finale with an African hooded vulture. Um, this is Mighty Mite. Um, he's a year old. Um, and if you're still not that keen on vultures, you'll love this guy because when he comes out and flies, he gets excited. And when Mighty Mite gets excited, his face goes bright pink and he blushes. Can you see? Yeah. We've also just been joined by two American black vultures. Well, uh, we talk, well, uh, now, if you thought the ducking thing was bad already, it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, cool. please duck. You have to duck. They expect you Where's, to duck. I so can't see it. Few minutes, try to enjoy them. But while ducking, at the same time. Okay. The, the seagulls aren't ours. <laughs> <laughs> But they're not. <laughs> They've got nothing to do with this. Okay, so we've now got well, quite a few birds out flying and working. Um, we're going to finish off um, this afternoon's display before everybody gets a little bit too wet um, with our African yellow-billed black kites. Um, we have kites in this country. Um, they're a little bit larger than the African yellow-billed kites. Um, the red kite. Um, and the red kite is... Uh, well, it's probably one of Britain's most successful conservation projects with a bird of prey. Red kites uh, were heavily persecuted and reduced to a very, very small number of birds. But now we can travel to lots of different corners throughout the British Isles and see the very beautiful red kite. Um, now, kites gave our kite and a string its name. Um, they're wonderfully um, acrobatic birds, if you will. Um, they have a very, very little body weight. In fact, every single one of these birds out flying and working weighs less than half a bag of sugar. Um, they're all wings and tail, and in the wild, they predominantly feed on insects, and this is what Simon's kind of demonstrating now. If you watch a kite, they have the ability to catch food on the wing, uh, but not only can they catch food on the wing, but they can feed on the wing as well. Keep your eye on this bird now. Can you see? They'll transfer their food from feet to beak whilst flying. It's um, gone. <laughs> That makes them a really energy efficient bird of prey that can stay flying keep them, um, instead of having to land. See how many, many birds of prey have it. So the vultures will be feeding on a carcass 
stopping that disease from spreading. And the kites would be flying at fairly high altitudes, feeding on the insects. Every bird of prey is playing a job or a role in helping keep their various different areas of the world clean and free from diseases. Now, in some cases, do you want to go, you want to go on the rocks, don't you? Go on then, to wrap it, go on then, go up on the rocks. I like this bit this time. Now, don't throw it over the audience. He gets a little bit kind of carried away this time, and he thinks, I want to get him really close, and he starts throwing food over the audience, but they now and again miss it. And my problem is, is that when you look up, you do it with your mouth open in amazement. You know, and it just scares the living day out of me. The other day, and I probably shouldn't tell you this, the other day, I, I was stood on that rock, and I threw up a bit of food, and there was a lady sat in the front row where you are, and she had an incredibly large hood on the back of her jacket, and the kite missed the food, and it went in her hood. Now, at that point, you're fixing a very difficult decision. Do you tell her or do you just carry on? I won't tell you what I did, but the, the show must go on. <laughs> okay, um, jump up on this rock, Simon. Let's give everyone a closer look. The kites transferring their food from feet to beak. Just great, great flying birds. Okay, then you're really yeah, stop the fight. Quick fire from Simon. Good morning. And to wrap up, we're going to go and see if we can get one of our kites to fish from our extensive African lake. <laughs> it requires a huge amount of accuracy. Some birds of prey, you know, like the osprey, a really famous bird of prey, has the ability to dive and catch fish, whereas kites will be scooping small insects and all sorts of different things off the surface of the water. So we need to line up one of the kites. If not, I'm sure there's a seagull which would be very willing to do this part. Um, so we'll see if we can get a kite to fish. That one's gone in the wrong direction. However, this one, hopefully, will turn on the wind. And, well, that was a bit of an anticlimax, that, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, one more go, Simon. We'll have to move on. I think it is that bird there, isn't it? It's that bird I can do. Ah. Slight problem. We have a black kite who... I can't really be bothered with fishing. He's going to sit on the rock instead. Oh, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to see an African yellow bill black kite, oh, they're all going to do that! There we go, very good. Got eventually. I was going to say go to Africa. Um, look at him out there in a whale of a time before he takes himself home. Um, thanks, the kites are the last birds um, of this afternoon. Send us a sky demonstration. Thank you very much, I mean, They were great, they were brilliant. Oh, look, very good. Well done. Um, it's been a pleasure working on flying the birds. So thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to pop in and see us. Um, now, there's one way which you, which you can help, and, and uh, if you're able to do so, we'd very, very much appreciate it. At the end of the demonstration, you can get involved with our Save the Vulture campaign um, and raise vital funds um, for critically endangered birds around the globe. Um, on the exit path, which is down there to your left hand side, we have to let her out that way, unfortunately, because we're still getting birds back that way. Um, but uh, you can purchase a Save the Vulture charity wristband. They're only a pound, and I promise you the pound will go into helping critically endangered birds all around the globe, and it will make a big difference. Um, I'm going to let you go so you don't get too wet. Enjoy the rest of the day. So thank you very much for coming.